Hello everyone, I am Alka103 and welcome to Unknown Cave in Pokemon Vortex. Yeah, that announcement was video for the Mars Shadow events, Unknown Part 2 wasn't the only Vortex video I was going to do. They're back. They're still not going to be like super regular like I know some people want, but somewhat regular at least. That is the plan. So, the Unknown Event, Unknown Part 2. Mars Shadow event, however you want to call it. The idea is there's 30 different unknown. The 26 letters of the alphabet, question mark unknown, exclamation mark unknown, and then the two vortex exclusive unknown, unknown zero and unknown one, which appear as rare encounters in here. The other 28 are regular encounters that as you see me walking around, you see me uh, see those multiple times. On an EX, that's the exclamation mark. That's a common one. Mystic is nice, but I already called the Mystic. How do I know that? Little plus symbol. Little plus symbol means during this season, and in Pokemon Vortex seasons, that means within the month. So we're currently in July. So this July, I have already caught this unknown. And I know I caught all my unknown during, the, uh, during this month. And if you happen to have caught some unknown already before this event was even announced, but it was in July, this month, then they would still count for the event. And what does the event center look like? Because I was unable to show you that in the announcement video. You have six main tabs. The six different variants of the Pokemon. Normal. Dark. Metallic. Mystic Shadow Shiny. And it'll show you... Like, little faded away a Pokemon that you don't have yet. So, this is all by Dark. So, for Dark, it's going to need A, B, D, E, F. And quite a few of them. I still need uh, Dark 0. I have Dark 1 already. Once you have all of them caught, not already have, because I have pretty much every unknown, but I haven't caught them all this month. I have all the normals. Well, I caught all the normals this month, so I was able to click on claim button, and I got myself a Mars Shadow. I type out that. Here's my Mars Shadow. With Spectral Thief, Close Comet, Sucker Punch, Poison Jab. It's cool. So then a decent amount of the darks, including uh, Dark Unknown Zero. For Metallics, then a Metallic Unknown One. I have quite a lot of the other ones. For Mystic, I've quite a lot of them already. Have Mystic on Zero, don't have Mystic on One yet. Shadow and Shiny are less common. They are slightly rarer than the other three uh, special variants, Dark Metallic Mystic. So I need more of those. I do already have Shadow on One, which is nice. And for Shiny, I don't have either of the rares uh, as of yet. I'm going to try and just get as many Marsh Shadows as possible. Chances are I won't be able to get all of them. But I'd like to at least get some more than just the normal. You can get one Marshadow per variant per account. Let's do some hunting. We're going to catch everything I don't have yet. And then we'll see where we go from there. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. But we're going to do hunting. If you want to hunt with me, come on, on, come on down to Unknown Cave. We can hunt together. We still have the rest of the month, so just over a week remaining to catch these. Also, something to note, Unknown Zero and Unknown One are Vortex exclusives. They were introduced during the first Into the Unknown event, which is, I feel like it was one and a half, two years ago at this point. Long time ago. And we were asking for a very long time, where's part two? Well, this is part two, finally. So that's very nice that we have it. But with part two always having been intended as the end of the event, it is also the end of Unknown Zero and Unknown One. Once this event, Into the Unknown Part Two, the Mars Shadow event, is over in just over a week from me recording this and uploading this, once July 2023 is over, Unknown Zero and Unknown One will not be obtainable anymore in the wild. You can still get... All 26 letters of the alphabet plus exclamation mark and question mark. But Unknown 0 and Unknown 1, at that point, 
will be trade and poker bay. That will be the only way you can get them. Now, in terms of the Pokedex, I had most unknown already. I think I missed two or three variants. Like a Mystic Unknown G and then like a Shadow Unknown Y or something. But these are all nicely filled up. I just need a Mystic and Metallic for Unknown 1 and a Shadow for Unknown 0. And then I have that part of the decks completed. So that is another nice way of this event. It's forcing me, not really forcing me, but it is making me hunt in a specific area for a long time. Where I can get specific Pokemon that I don't have yet. So I've been able to add some to my collection. Here's a Shadow Unknown V, which I already have in my Pokedex. In my standard Pokedex, because you see the Pokeball. But there's no plus symbol, which means I haven't caught it yet this month. Which means yeah, that hasn't counted towards this event either. This is my standard Pokemon catching squad. There's other ways, other good strategies to help catch Pokemon. I really like to just have my shiny pants here. Backed up with the Steel Burmy. Uh, these specific levels as well with these specific moves because I know the damage output that each of them is going to do. So now we add Shadow Unknown V. So if we go to the event center into the shadow, we can now see the Unknown V here. It's not faded out. It is very much visible with its sprite. And that will keep happening with every new Unknown that you catch for this event. While I'm doing this, I have a question. A relatively easy way. Oh, oh, rare encounter. It's a standard one, but I'm going to catch it just for... Um, I guess let's, let's trade it away. If you want one that I caught in my video, I will put it up for trade. My unknown one. Hunting videos are relatively easy to make and generally quite enjoyable is what people have told me. There are other events, obviously if there's other events, uh, my intention is to make videos about them. Sometimes I don't have the time for them or I really don't feel like it. Um, I did skip a few events over the past year. So I apologize for that if you, 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 if you were using me as a news outlet. Um, I'm not going to be... Like, I'm not going to confirm and promise that I will be 100% consistent with always putting the news out there. I realize I am a big Vortex YouTuber. Um, but I'm not going to promise being there for every event. In the end, Vortex is one of the many games that I play. One of the many things that can be interesting to put my time into. But my life has changed a lot over the last few years. And it will change in the next few months as well with my partner moving in with me from the US so that's extremely exciting um, there will there might just be even less time to play Pokemon Vortex and look a Pokemon that I don't have yet we go into Flame Burst and then double lick so we get it down to 1 HP and Pokeball and we got him but yeah there's many videos that I can make hunting videos are among the easiest ones what other types of videos would you like to see? It could be a relatively vague, broad idea if that you have. Or just, or maybe you say, I like hunting videos. Then let me know that. If you would like to see me do a Vortex live stream, I, I'll, say, I'll say this now, and I've said this before in the past, but I'll remind you in case you don't remember or you're a new viewer. I don't feel like Vortex is a great stream game. I can stream it, and one of the times that I streamed it, it was very successful. Loads of people came in the chat. Uh, lots of people hunted Pokemon with me. I remember the the area even that was in. It was one of the water routes, I think, through 24, 25. Um, we were hunting in the water for specific Pokemon. I think the Tapus at the time. I don't think it was an event. I was just hunting for legendaries uh, that I didn't have yet, and a lot of the either gen, like a lot of the Gen 7 and 8 legends I didn't have yet. I think that's what it was. But yeah, um, I am considering doing a Vortex live stream, but I want to know for sure that there's going to be quite a lot of people. Also, hello. I know you're going to watch this video because you often watch my Vortex videos. Nice to see you here. Hello. Hello, la. 
Ooh. Oh, I thought it was metallic on on one, and I wanted to catch it for trade. But no, it was just a Y, uh, an on I. Yeah, if you have any ideas for videos you want to see, let me know. May if you're interested in the stream, make sure you let me know, and I'll try to say ahead of time when that stream will happen instead of it just being puff random, so that people can join in. I'll try and make it a time of day that is easy for both, let's say Europe and. Excuse me, for Europe and America to join because that's where most of my viewers are from. I apologize if you're from, let's say, India or from Australia. But some of my streams will be um, better for your time. I realize that. Some of my uh, marbles Twitch streams in the last few weeks have been nice to some Europeans, at least those that didn't have to go to work or school. And then people from like let's say Japan or Australia, they really appreciate the the times that I had. Flame burst, I can finish up with scratch, and then we pokeball it. Okay, we pokeball it again. Thank you. That's another one. I want to make sure that when I do the vortex stream, that there's gonna be at least let's say five people consistently chatting. Because it's nice to have, let's say, five to ten people viewing, but if it's just one people person that's chatting with me, it's not that interesting for me. I need more things outside of just Vortex. Maybe it's a piece of music or maybe something else going on I, that keeps my interest there. And sometimes going for the hunt of the unknown, wanting to go towards the goal of this, in this case, uh, various Mars Shadow, that can be a drive for me to play for a longer period of time. But if I don't have something like that, then sometimes I might just play for a few minutes and then leave it at that because I'm not really interested. And that is partially, I guess, the reason why I haven't played as much in the past year is because I just wasn't very interested. There wasn't a lot of drive giving me to it. I tried to remember to get daily login rewards on quite a few days, which I, I feel like I got them for like three quarters of the days at least. Sometimes I forget one or two, especially on work days, that happens. But yeah, if there if there's enough um, demand for a Vortex live stream, which will probably take uh, take place on Twitch, by the way, but then the entire VOD will then go up on YouTube later. So YouTube people, you won't have to miss it. It just won't be live. It'll be a premiere instead. Uh, but if there's enough demand for that, then it is something I will consider. Exactly how or what or when, I don't know. Something I did come up with last year, two years ago, is to do a hide-and-seek event. I'm not really sure how I can do that on stream, though, because people can then just stream snipe where I am. So, I feel like I might actually be able to do that on stream, though. Yeah, I just came up with an idea. The idea with a hide and seek event, and let me know if you're interested in this, is I would be somewhere on the map in the entire vortex world. And then I would hide my screen and just have like a cool Pokemon image over it. Or maybe just play a different game and put that over the vortex screen and behind the vortex screen, whatever. And talk to you. While all the viewers try to find where I am on the map. Maybe I'm right here. Someone has to walk into the unknown cave, see me. And then they would type in the Twitch chat, because it's going to happen live in Twitch chat. Uh, live on Twitch. Type in the Twitch chat their username. And hey, I found you. Or something like that. To let me know, hey, they found me. Because let's say this person called Systematic has been going left and right here. Um, let's say they stand next to me. That could be one of the viewers. They could be like, hey, I found you. And they were the first one that found me. Out of the ones that were searching. But if you don't let me know that you're one of the people that try to find me, how am I supposed to know that you're not just a random person that happened to be in this area trying to catch unknown that's just standing still like Anthony below me? They're just standing there because they were already here anyway. They weren't searching for me. So that's how I, I kind of want to verify that. But yeah, obviously, if it's a huge map, so it's very unlikely that you'll find me immediately. 
Although it's cool if you do, I guess. Uh, I might have like a point system. Five points if you find me without a hint. And then every five minutes I add a hint. And the hints will be um, increasingly useful. Um, so the first hint might be I'm... Um, I am outside. So that just means no caves, no houses, stuff like that. But there's still so many outside areas. Um, second hit might be there are water encounters in my area. That eliminates a further half, three quarters or something of the areas you could go to. But then there's still quite a lot of areas across many parts of the big vortex map. That have water encounters and that are outside. And then the third one might be... Uh, I am... Let's say... One area away from this specific city. Which really narrows it down to three routes. And then people have to go there to... And try and find me, and then five points or something. If you find me without a hint, and then three, two, one, and the first one to a certain amount of points wins, I guess. Or whoever has the most points after a certain amount of time gets a prize. What the prize will be, I have no idea. Maybe if I have duplicates of some cool legendaries, I give those legendaries away because I normally don't do giveaways. I've done a few in the past, I did not like how they turned out. Just to make sure that people wouldn't just, I guess, be there for the giveaway and then leave. I asked people to, like, be subscribed to my channel, to do something else. But those people were just subscribed then. And if they weren't interested in my videos outside of the giveaway, then even if they're subscribed, nothing's forcing them to watch my videos or unsubscribe later. So there wasn't really a point, and I feel like at least 90% of people were there just for the giveaway and had zero care for me or my videos otherwise so that's why i stopped doing the giveaways i remember one giveaway i did was just for caterpie just because i wanted to see how many people would respond and a few people did i feel like they were just going going in there for the joke as well well that was funny one time i did give away a really fancy pokemon like a shiny deoxys defense or something like that uh but that was actually donated to me by patrick the owner and the like, main developer of pokemon vortex he gave me a code for that Pokemon, and the idea was, hey, Al could do a giveaway, give it to someone. And because I gave the promo code away, instead of the Pokemon, whoever got won that promo code, and I sent it to them, they would then be able to get that Pokemon with their own OT. So the original trainer on that Pokemon would say their name, instead of, let's say, I would have unpacked the promo code, or caught the super fancy legendary pokemon or ultra beast whatever and i would give the, give that away or trade it away then it would still have my ot my original trainer and that was avoided by giving away the promo code so i don't expect to do standard giveaways just for okay enter and then you just win but and then like luck of the draw stuff like that but I feel like the hide and seek event could be really cool. Uh, I want to try and do a few Vortex videos at least before I get back into that because I noticed that uh, at least the announcement video for the Mars Shadow event had so many less views than many Vortex videos have had. But it makes sense. I haven't uploaded them for 11 months, Vortex videos. So it makes sense that a lot of people stop watching, stop thinking about my channel. I've had somewhat regular message still of, hey, when is the Wednesday night Fortnite video going to be? So people were excited for it. People were asking for it. So that shows the demand. That shows that you still care. That you remember me. So I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, Vortex is back, as I said now. I'm excited for that. I'm trying to figure out a bit of the different types of content that I want. And hopefully, after a few videos, the average views will be bumped up again. The YouTube algorithm will be like, oh yeah, this guy... Doesn't just upload one Vortex video a year. No, he does a few a month, maybe. And then the YouTube algorithm will really work with me. Suggest it to people who watch Vortex videos on YouTube anyway. Search for Vortex stuff. And then once that viewership, like, that algorithm goes up, the viewers, viewership will automatically go up with how YouTube works. 
And then I think I can do a live stream with the hide and seek event. What kind of prize do you think I should give out? If assuming I do the hide and seek idea and I do it on a Twitch stream, what prize should I give out? Would you want to see an Ultra Beast giveaway? Like or like let's say a shiny legendary or I show you a few different Pokemon and you can choose one of those that you want. Uh, what is something you think is appropriate for a prize of winning an event like that? I should say, if it's, if you, let's say, want a shiny Ultra Beast, and, or something that's super valuable, or really hard to obtain, I will depend on Patrick or another developer to even give me a promo code for that. Because if it's super valuable, so let's say a sh an Ultra Beast, then I think that's too valuable to just give away. I'll want to either trade that away for something else really valuable or sell it for a lot of Poké Dollars. And I hope you can understand that. But I do want to see what I can do. I have so many duplicate Pokémon, a lot of regulars, uh, quite a few uniques, many legendaries. So perhaps I could give you a few legendaries. Because... Trades are very slow. I don't feel like a lot of people use the trade thing. I have, and I will, I'll show you, even though some of them were put up there years ago, loads of Pokemon. There's quite a lot of brothers. I said Agron, Alakazam, Altaria. There's some Megas in there like Mega Blastoise, different forms of cast form. Lots of Pokemon varieties, including the lowland forms. There's mammoths and legendaries like Mesprit and Mew. There's some starters in there too. There's uh, Reshiram, Regigig, Shaman, Shaman Sky. There's a lot of different ones. There's Shadows and um, some Zygarde Cells, Zubat, Halloween, some old event Pokemon. There's some Shinies. So there's a lot that I have, and everything that I have for trade, I already have another of on my account. Because my intention still is to complete the entire Vortex Pokedex. That's going to be super difficult to even get to, but it is a long goal that do, does keep me motivated to a certain extent. It makes me want to hunt more. It makes me want to play more, make videos more, something like that. Ooh. New York Pizza. Oh, that's here. Huh, that's some while away. I was gonna a second New York pizza for just one euro. If you come pick it up. That is not bad though. Hmm. Anyway, um, I still want to complete the Pokedex. So through what I do with that is I have a bunch of Pokemon for trade. If you want to place an offer, then by all means you can do that. Do note that I care a lot more about Pokemon that I don't have yet than Pokemon I do have. If you are in or have access to the Vortex Discord, if you go to the bot commands channel and type exclamation mark missing, and then a space, and then my username, alka 3 you'll get a list of every Pokemon that I don't have yet. Try and find a Pokemon that is of around equal value or a combination of Pokemon that are around equal or more value of whatever you're offering on. Um, and then as long as I don't have those Pokemon, I'm very likely to accept your offer. Because if, let's say... You offer a shiny Mesprit on my shiny Uxie, but I already have a shiny Mesprit. I care a lot less about Pokemon I already have. So shiny Uxie, shiny Mesprit will be pretty much around the same value. But because I already have it, I might still decline. I hope you understand that that's a bit of how I'm working with it. I'm trying to keep my Pokemon for the... And my trades for things that are still to come. And that will help me complete the Pokedex. That'll be the video for today. We did a bit of hunting. Quite a few uh, unknown. Bit disappointing that I didn't get a few more at least. But hey, I already caught so many Pokemon in the past weeks. It makes a lot of sense. That it's going to be a lot harder to find them now. Please let me know in the comments what you like to see in terms of Vortex content in the coming weeks, months. What do you think of the idea of live streams? Would you watch it? Would you be able to... Uh, chat with me in the Twitch chat, or are you unable to do that? Don't want to do that? Are you more interested in the YouTube VOD once that comes up? What do you think of the hide and seek event? And then what should the prize be if I do it? Thanks for watching. Make sure you always remember that you 
are worth it. Goodbye. That was a weird wave. Goodbye.